Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Turtles in a half shell. shell. Turtle power. They're the world's most fearsome fighting team. People are already clicking off this video. They're heroes in a half shell. And they're green. Ninja Turtles. When evil Shredder attacks. Those turtle boys, boys don't, don't cut them no slack. Hey, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja There's more after this. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Leonardo. Leonardo does machine. No one gives a fuck after that part. That's a good intro. So, hey guys, Anthony here. Oh, and I'm John. From Johnny F. From Johnny F. Holy shit. And um, we're going to talk about, guess what came out? Trailer for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, boy. The Michael Bay one that everyone's scared of where they were aliens, but now they're not, I guess, but they're created in a lab. Is that what they're doing? Well, I mean, they said, hey, they're created. We yeah. created heroes. That's right. Yeah, we were trying to create heroes. And that was Shredder, right? No, that was. No. But he was like looking at that one mask, like, ooh, I'm going to take I don't that know. Shredder, no, Shredder's in there later. Yeah, but in like the IMDb, that guy's Shredder. Oh, okay. Because cool. that guy's like, I forgot his name. But he's like a well-known actor. He's like he's like always the bad guy. I mean, he looks like a bad guy. Look at his face. Well, then sweet. Yeah, good. So he's Shredder. Yeah. So John, what did you think of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? The the, the trailer. The trailer. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I'll watch it. Was it the childhood raping experience you expected it to be? I mean, it's different, but I don't expect it to be the cartoon. I mean, that would be so fucking cool. Yeah. Like, you know, as a child of the 80s, I grew up with Ninja Turtles. I had the toys. I had the Technodrome. I had the little spinny thing. What was it called? I don't know. It was a digger. It was like, it could, it, it could, I uh, wasn't the tunneler that could go underground. I wasn't alive when them came out, John. Oh, man. I don't know. I had the crane thing. I had the blimp. There was this thing. It was a turtle blimp. And you blew it up, and it was like this big blimp. It was like a balloon. So the trailer. It's good times, man. It's my childhood. <laughs> I don't. Okay, oh, so I love some Ninja Turtles. Yeah, so the trailer came out. Now you said it would be cool if it was the like the cartoon. Well, the cart like you now know, I no. Well, it'd be fun to see like Bebop and Rocksteady. We might. You and have the, no idea. In the Technodrome and Crane. You have no if idea. If they bring that into it, I might be like a sucker for it. Look, because I'm a child of the '80s. Look, all right? like. Yeah, right. At Go the end it. of the credits, there better be a CG Krang just sitting there. It's like it, it, it glows no. up and there's just pink no. and it's like no. Turtles or whatever, and it's no, like done, and then no, cuts. No, yeah, no, no. I don't, don't want to see a fucking teaser. Oh, either Krang's in the movie or he's not. No, the teaser's gonna be him zooming in on the techno drone, and then no, <laughs> no. See, that's what I hope they don't do. Okay, no, anyway. You're saying it would be cool if it was like the cartoon. I'm hoping this one trailer, there's a part at the end of the trailer where he's like, whoa, whoa, hold on, it's just a mask, and then he takes off the little orange piece. That was so stupid. It's, look, I'm sorry, that was dumb. But that is what the turtles would have done in the cartoon. Now, look, I would... Maybe. Went, because, I went, well, no, that same thing happened in the cartoon. And like there the first you go. One, April O'Neil fainted, and they were like, what do we do with her? Let's bring her back to our fucking uh, sewer cave. Is this going into rape jokes? No. Okay. What? Why? Because you're taking her back to the I'm weird gonna, whoa, sewer Rape cage. jokes? We're going to rape her. Wait, anyway, like, yeah. No, yeah. no, okay. Well, well I, in the cartoon, she just woke up, and she was like, oh, you're turtles. And we're like, yeah, we're turtles. That's fine. Now my That's point, all I was. <laughs> what my point is, is that at the end of the trailer, they showed the part of the personality of the characters. Yeah. No, it seems, from, from the concept designs I've seen, it yeah. seems they're keeping the characters in tune with what the characters were good. for the show. And I hope Which is good. Yes. I hope there's more than we see in this trailer. Oh, I hope so. I I hope, hope, the trailer's a fucking teaser. Yeah. I mean, it was just music and one dude talking. Mm -hmm. I mean, who knows what this movie's going to be? I, I'm kind of leaning towards the side of it's going to be sort of cheeseball and shit. But now, the turtles are cheeseball and shit. Now, what I was, was really going to say to it? is I went, went back and watched some episodes of the original show today. That shit sucks. Those, that show is terrible. It, it, it is a kid of like going back and watching like like GI Joe or something. Oh like yeah, that. and you watch They're it. You're terrible. Like, How the fuck did I enjoy it? I, 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 I will say like I've I've watched the older ones recently. What like, was your I, favorite episode? I did enjoy some of them. I love the episode where Baxter Stockman gets turned into the fly for the first time. Okay, my favorite one, and the only reason it's my favorite one is because it's the only episode I ever had on tape. It was the uh, cheese pizza monsters in the museum. Ah, oh, that one sucked. It was the only one I had on tape. Lame. No, the Baxter Stockman. That that transformation from um, Baxter Stockman to the from the scientist to the fly was like so. I, I remember it, it sticks in my head to this day. Yeah. Because of how graphic it was for the time. Okay. Because the dude gets in and there's like this horrific scream, like, and he's like, all of a sudden he's a fucking fly, and I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> My tiny little brain just was blown. The 80s, huh? You couldn't get exactly. away with that today. Well, I was a child. Like, to me, it was like, this was the first crazy shit. This guy hopped in the thing and he comes out of fly. What the fuck? What the fuck is going on? Why is he a fly? That's fucking awesome. Ninja Turtles. I don't care. 
I was a kid. So now there's the disconnect <laughs> between me and you, actually. Yeah. I grew up on reruns of the original show. I mean, Ooh. I was born in 92. Right, there you go. All right, so the show was long. Was it done right. by that point? Uh, it, was, it may have been still. But see, I, I, grew, I grew up with the newer series of cartoons they did. Like, I knew about the originals, and I watched them when I was young. Yeah, and But I don't doors, have yeah. the good remem memory of yours. Yeah. The movies, I saw all the movies. Why'd they go to Japan? Oh, the third one? Oh, you Jesus went Christ. to Japan? I mean, come on. Now, one and two are like, they're, 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 they're great. Dumb, but they're fun. Yeah, and then number three is like, well. Well, we got the, all these established characters. Let's just go with generic Japanese guy. <laughs> oh, Japan! They're ninjas. They gotta go. To no, fuck yeah, you. it was like it's like you know one and two. The villain was Shredder. It's like yeah, badass. Just a movie you want to see. He dies from <laughs> wood. A plank of wood falls on him. A deck. It was so shitty. It's a pier. It's like here comes Super Shredder. Yeah. Burr, burr, burr. That was badass. Though. Like I remember seeing that in the theater and he like was killed by wood. I mean, yeah, it was dumb how he here got comes killed. the fight. Exactly. Yeah, no, I, but yeah, I, I remember that in, uh, being as a kid, seeing that moment, it was like, it's Super Shredder, and it's like, oh, Shredder on the ooze, we've never seen that in the cartoon. Yeah. Holy fucking shit, it's about to go down, Ninja Turtles, everybody! Everybody, Ninja Turtles! We were excited, and then, yeah, he just, oh, like, Oh, shit, died. it's wood! Ah! <laughs> oh, shit, he's tearing the wood down, it's coming! <laughs> it was... But he survived being, what, crushed in a garbage truck the first movie, right? <laughs> exactly. Like, ah! There's no logic to these films. It doesn't have to be. It's a film about fucking mutant turtles. Hey. The original point, uh, what I was trying to say was, you know, this, the te the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was cheesy bullshit. So the fact that they're just taking the set, the premise, and just making something new with it, but it's still the same idea, I'm all for it. Yeah, go I'm for fine it. with it. Change it up a little bit and go for it. Because the originals, we have such a fond memory of them, but they're really just cheesy crap. Right. One thing I want to say about this, you know, because everyone's comparing this and Transformers. Because, mm. you know, it's Michael Bay, all this stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what, that, I uh, think uh, people uh, held a higher regard and expected more from Transformers, even though it's still the same crap. Nah, yeah. You don't think, like, people were like, oh, yeah, Transformers has an in-depth like, story like, about Energon and, and Cybertron. Right, right, right. right. Uh, Transformers, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I honestly don't know, because Transformers... That wasn't, to me, what, like, Turtles was. Turtles holds a place in my heart because that that was a thing that I attached to growing up. As somebody that got attached to Transformers growing up, I can see how those movies are fucking offensive. Yeah. They're fucking offensive to me. I mean, I got into... Because they're not good movies. Yeah, I got into the later Transformers, but not the yeah. original series. Is Michael Bay got... directing this? I just He's just a producer. producer. But see, that but makes me get... It gives me a little bit more hope. But anyone can do what Michael Bay does. They just go make explosion there, there, there. Okay, Well, great. the man's great at action scenes. Come on, let's give him that. Okay. Let's give him that. All I mean, right. as much, you know, there's a lot of hate for Michael Bay on the internet. Yes. Transformers is always pretty to look at. It when is. When I'm at the theater, I don't hate myself. And I'm probably gonna go see the new one just because there's dinosaur robots. Let's be honest. <laughs> but I mean, that's all those movies are. It's but like when hey, you look, leave, dinosaur robots. But when you leave, you have so much contempt for that movie. You're like, that sucked. But when you're there, yeah. you're like, oh, look at blow it up. And that's what this turtle movie is gonna be for me. But that's <laughs> all just, the show ever was too. Yeah. The show was just let's get to that action part. Oh yeah. Whoa, yeah. Oh man. Whoa. It was so much more to me growing up because I mean I remember <laughs> like turtles. Would, I forgot what day it would come out, but I would go to my grandmother's house. She picked me up from like the day turtles came out, the new episodes. Mm -hmm. It was going to grandma's house. And I knew, okay, new episode of Ninja Turtles comes out in the day. <gasps> and I was like plop right down in front of the television. And that's what I was watching. Yeah. And I loved every second of it. So, Krang Are we shitty. talking about the movie? Or <laughs> no, but yeah, let's see the movie. Um, I mean, from the trailer, meh. You know, I mean, but, but that's the same thing. Like, there was a new cartoon. There's even a newer cartoon now. This is a franchise that's kept going and has obviously kept a lot of kids' attention. People grow out of it, but new people grow into it. Because yeah. it is this fun, weird idea of like, okay, these turtles, they're ninjas, they're mutants. There's teenagers, okay, All whatever. Right, sure. Um, What's our demographic? Teenager? But the fact yeah, that right. they've managed to stay relevant this long impresses me. Yeah. They're not relevant to me anymore because I'm an adult now. But what does that mean, John? It means I'm fucking thirty. Does it matter? Yeah. Let's go home and watch. Well, oh, I'm not going. I mean, I don't go out of my way every day to watch Ninja Turtles. Why not? You because I want to watch that. South Park. I want to watch something a little bit more raunchy, a little bit more adult. I don't give a fuck about Ninja Turtles anymore, the cartoon. Oh. But I enjoyed Ninja Turtles, the cartoon, when I was a kid. I think it's gonna, I, I hope it's more than what we see it as. I hope behind the marketing, which is just, hey guys, here's generic action movie, there's a lot more, I know it's wishful thinking, but I hope that somewhere the person who made this movie was like, I like Ninja Turtles. Yeah. I just, I Let's, just hope it's a cohesive story. Yeah. Like there's a, a clear beginning, middle, and end, and it's not cheese ball all the way through. I want cheese ball all the way through. And I mean, it, I mean, it looks well, like the characters are going to stay the same. Yeah. Well, I mean, let's expect let's expect a little bit of cheese ball. It's a it's a movie about fucking turtles that are like somehow mutated into like living grown up creatures. It reminded it's me of Spider Man of when uh, the Can green. Can I talk about Megan Fox for a second? Megan Fox. Okay. Why? 
Because she's hot. Why? Because she's hot. No, she's not. Well, she is. She's not that attractive. Well, I mean, to people, I guess so. They, I don't find she's her She's on the motorcycle, and she's just like, oh, look at me and my shot of motorcycle. Oh, that gratuitous shot where it's like, hey, look yeah. at my vagina. And then Adventure uh, uh, Transformers 3, the first shot you see of humans is like right through the girl's legs. It's like, what the fuck's going on? And then the black robots? Come on, man. The, the black robots were really like... I mean, I like a good racist joke, but that was not a the whole movie. <laughs> exactly. Yo, like, dog, you got you, 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 you robot. Yeah, it, got, it got to the point where it's like, mm, that's a little too much. You overplayed the racism. Should have dialed back on the racism. A little bit of racism is funny. A lot of racism just comes off as desperate and weird. You know what I'm saying. But I'm, uh, I don't know if I'll be convinced of Megan Fox as April O'Neil. And, yeah. and honestly, I don't even know who would play uh, April O'Neil that would even convince you. Maybe the girl from uh, House of Cards? The the entire trailer, Megan Fox doesn't say a word, if you notice. No, she goes, it's just <gasps> it's just lips. It's just... Can I also say the, tra the trailer looks like The Dark Knight? In the beginning, it's like in this world and things are toppling over like, yeah, ah, I'm Batman. Like, that's what it looks like. It's about feel, to happen. Yeah, this feel very serious. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's obviously a product of the bat, the Dark Knight, which is still being felt today. Well, Shredder's in the Dark Knight. You remember the opening scene to the Dark Knight? Joker robs the bank. Yeah. Shredder, uh, well, the guy, that actor was the guy that pulls out the shotgun, shoots one of them and is like, you and your friends are dead. Oh. In the Dark Knight. Same guy. What a pointless waste of money. You could have just got anybody. Him as Shredder? I don't know. Maybe? Because like Shredder in the in the old cartoons was like Hamato Yoshi. Uh, or Hiroko Saki. I don't even fucking remember. One of them was Hamato Yoshi, there was Hiroko Saki. Which which one was Splinter? Because Splinter was one of them. We didn't even see Splinter oh God, in the trailer. Is Splinter even in this thing? No, he's not in the trailer, but he's gotta is be. Is he in, in the there. movie? He has to be. If they don't put Splinter. We should IMDB this. We should research this shit before we start recording. <laughs> nah, <laughs> fuck it, culture shot. Hey, well, what is it? hey John. Right here. John. Go to IMDB no! So anyways. I want to see who plays Splinter! <laughs> No, John! I honestly do! Oh, there you go! Danny! It's a midget! It's the midget! The midget's playing <laughs> Splinter! Wait, how's that gonna work? He's gonna be in a costume! Is he gonna be tiny though? That's kinda... Maybe they'll do... He's a fucking rat! Danny Woodburn. Oh, he's been in Seinfeld? Okay. Alright. Yeah, someone was talking about that. All right. So we got a midget playing Splinter. Hey, maybe he'll be a practical effect. Or like, at least the body will, and then like the face will be CG or something. It, it'll probably be CG. I mean... Then why are they well, getting that, a midget? Well, they're not, well, not gonna put that guy in a suit. Well, then why are they getting a midget? I don't know, maybe because of the funny walk? <laughs> I'm sorry, is that like offensive? Probably, but anyways. <laughs> let me just say my final thing. I'm gonna see this what regardless. I don't care if it looks like the worst movie ever. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I mean, yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah. I feel like I'm gonna wait for the reviews. The, shut up. You're gonna go see it day one. I am. I mean, are gonna we gonna do a thing? Me. Yeah, let's do like, like a day like, one. go see it and review it. Come on. Yeah, let's do that. Let's all do right, it. All right. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna I'll, dress I'll... up in a turtle shell. I wanna get those sweatshirts. <laughs> I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna get a sweatshirt that, you know, have you seen it where you zip it closed and it's the shell and the back of it's the turtle shell? And Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Anyways, that's what we think about the new trailer for TMNT, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below and let us know. And also like, comment, and subscribe to this video. And blah, right. Does blah, anybody blah. else find Megan Fox attractive? Because I just, I don't see it. I mean, she's got lips, but that's it. Like, I, you know, you like growing up, like watching the cartoons, like April O'Neil, you kind of wanted to bang her? Yeah. I don't get that from Megan Fox.